hot day in South Florida. Pretty hot night. Braylon Edwards making his Jets debut. Ronnie Brown of the Dolphins, 2-0 all-time coming in, wearing their orange colored alternate jerseys. Chad Ochocinco and Mark Anthony hanging before the game. First quarter, Mark Sanchez completes the pass to Brad Smith. Check out Channing Crowder and Leon Washington. Now, Crowder went to Florida. Washington went to Florida State. They admit that they really hate each other. Like they say, every time we, we see each other, we start cussing, and Washington put a beat down on Crowder. No love lost. <laughs> That's awesome. That is great. That's Later awesome. in the drive, third and goal, Sanchez has some to Braylon Edwards. Edwards, first catch as a Jet. Steve, how did he get over? It was high-low. Look at the Texas route by the running back, 29, come out of the backfield. Braylon's got a high one. I'm sorry, the, the receiver. He's late with the ball there, but he got away with because Braylon's great hands. You can see those strong hands. Welcome to the Jets, Braylon Edwards. Might not have gotten his right foot down, but it is called a touchdown. Jets tie it at seven. They lead 13-10 at recess. Fourth quarter, still 13-10. Second to go, Chad Henney. This is fierce to Anthony Fasano for the touchdown. A 16-play drive that took eight minutes and 41 seconds. Matt, break it down for us. Uh, nice job just in terms of a roll action. Get him out on the edge and then give him an option. One, two, three, hits the back of the end zone score. Next Jets drive, guys, this is Buck. And the definition of buck is when internal artistry meets physical expression. 53 yards, Sanchez to David Clowney. How do you throw a ball this perfectly? You know what, this is some of the best deep ball throws I've seen in the league this year by young football players. That's a tough ball. There's accuracy in the long ball. It's not just throw and hope. And that's where you saw both quarterbacks tonight throw it very accurately deep. Late in the drive, Sanchez under pressure. Randy Starks grabs him. Sanchez throws it away incomplete. Called for intentional grounding. That backs the Jets up. Next play, third and 22. Sanchez pump fake. Just stop it. I mean, really? Unbelievable. Stop it. What a phenomenal throw. That window is so small. He, but he throws it up and just let Braylon Edwards do the rest. Take a look at this on the top side. He's going to see. He's going to look. Looks down the field. Try to get the safeties over. And then down that left side. Now, look. I want you to watch the defender. The defender is trying to push him to the sideline to give him as small a window as possible. But it didn't matter. That is a phenomenal throw and a, just an awesome effort of making this catch, getting your feet in bounds, and to be honest with you, that's a score. How excited are Jet well, fans? Well, the referee Sanchez chance to Braylon Edwards. It's going to be the next fun decade. The referee together. originally ruled him touchdown. Later, they put it in the one-yard line. Thomas Jones ran it in. Jets lead 20 to 17. Next Dolphins drive. Henny, play bait. Deep downfield to Ted Ginn Jr. Holler! And this is the play that Dolphin fans will remember that changes the Dolphins franchise into the future because if they can throw the football like this, Ted Ginn can get by most teams in the league and with Chad Henney's arm, suddenly the Dolphins become a real threat to score anytime they touch the ball. Dolphins take the lead 24 to 20. Sanchez deep again, like you said, see, they're throwing that rock up deep, incomplete, but a flag on the play, pass interference. Good call. Uh, bad call. This is just football to me. Bad call. And I don't know why it's so technical nowadays. They feel like if he had his arm, they have to throw it. To me, it's game-changing, and I don't think it's right. 49-yard penalty and set up. Thomas Jones gets some of that. Touchdown. Jets take the lead, 27-24. So here come the Dolphins again. Pat White appearing at quarterback for the first time in the game with three and a half minutes ago, the former West Virginia star. Wildcat, how about that? Gutsy play calling by Tony Sperano. Later in the drive, third and 10, just over a minute to go. How big was this This was the play, play of the game because this is what kept it from going to overtime. And laser down and away. Chad Henney and Mark Sanchez did everything tonight not to lose the football game. I thought they were very effective. That play to Grant Camarillo set up first and goal. Three plays later, Brown direct snap, touchdown. His second touchdown of the game. How about that blocking up front? Uh, to me, that was the whole game tonight. This offensive line for the Miami Dolphins just got physical, and they beat the New York Jet defense at what they like to do, and that's play physical. Tony Sperano, calm down there, brother. Just <laughs> calm down a little bit. Next Jets drive. Three seconds to play. Sanchez, the Hail Mary, short of the end zone, incomplete. Dolphins hang on to win a barn burner. 31 to 27 as I mentioned at the top of the highlight as you see the two young quarterbacks Getting together and giving each other some love. There were five lead changes in the fourth <laughs> quarter alone 